This is my turn. What is Blazer everybody? Blazer 56 here. And I have a question. Do you love marble? Well, I probably should first start by asking, do you love superheroes? I personally love superheroes. Superheroes back in the day was just something iconic to me. And I would always remember wanting to, <laughs> I always remember playing superhero with myself. I used to do a lot of things by myself. And it wasn't until I went to a school called the Long Island High School for the Arts and I met someone named Nick Duque. And ever since then, I had a very, very good deep love for Marvel. That did not sound as right as I wanted to. I have a great love for Marvel that sounded a lot better and as you know Marvel has put out a good number of superhero films based off of all the characters in the Marvel Universe from the comics and from other sources pertaining to Marvel But it got me thinking. What are my favorite Marvel movies that just made me hype to the max? And what Marvel movies or series just made me go, eh. 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 So, we're about to find that out today. Because we're making a tier list. That is right. We are going to be making a tier list. According to me. Pretty sure if anyone has ever made a tier list of this. It would be a lot different. But this is a tier list according to me. What my absolute all time. Where, where I would rank Marvel movies. So without further ado, let's get started. And also, hold on. We're halfway to 30 subscribers. If you're new to the channel, please be sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment saying, hmm, what was your all-time favorite Marvel movie? And I mean all-time. Like, you would go back to that movie and watch it a number, a whole number of times. Let me know. Let me know down in the comment section down below. And ring the bell so you can get updated on my upcoming videos. And please share the channel. We are halfway to 30 subscribers. We're pushing through trying to get to 100 subscribers before the summer starts. So please share the channel with your family, your friends, whoever. If I'm as interesting as you think I am, please share the channel. It would mean a lot to me. So anyways, let's get started with this tier list. All right, and here we are. We have, if, I'm, if I know correctly, all of the movies and series that have been put out by Marvel. So... We're just going to start down the line. I'll probably give a tiny bit a tiny bit of what each one means to me. And we see we'll go from there. So, first off, we got Avengers Civil War. Now, Civil War was pretty interesting to me because it if I remember correctly, I think it was after the events of uh, Age of Ultron, if I remember correctly. But this is where Rob, uh, 
Tony Stark and Steve Rogers really just threw the hands. See, we kind of had a feeling that they wasn't going to get along as well uh, in the Avengers. <laughs> but in this movie, they really just showed, like, we have some stuff that we just don't have in common. And I think we need to just sort it out. So Civil War... It had a very, it had a lot of good feats. It had two sides featuring some of my favorite superheroes like Spider-Man, Iron uh, Iron Man, uh, Ant Man, Black Panther, uh, Winter Soldier, all that good stuff. So Civil War, you know, I personally enjoyed it. So I'm actually just gonna put it. In B. Marvel's Avengers. This is where all of the heroes that led up to the other movies. This is where all the heroes come together to face off against Loki in the Battle of New York. This was leading up to movies like Thor, uh, Captain America, and Iron Man. So on and so forth. So I'm not even going to waste any time. I'm going to put this in A. It's not S tier. It's not S. First of all, I should take that off. It's not S. But it was something. Avengers Age of Ultron. This movie spawned the creation of Vision. So, uh, that's actually very tough. I mean,. Not a, like not every Marvel movie is perfect. Not every Marvel movie though will get you going. Ah, yeah, yeah, let's go. So I'm actually gonna put this also at B. Avengers: Infinity War. Oh my God, I have a lot of things to say about this one. Actually. Come here for a second. BIG SPOILERS! I just spit all over. <laughs> I probably should have pointed that out in the beginning of the video. But if anyone who watches my videos has not seen any of these Marvel movies or series, I suggest that you should not watch this video. I do need the views though. But if you have never watched any of these Marvel movies that I am putting on this tier list, I suggest that you do not watch this video right now. This is your last and only warning. Please, do not watch this video if you haven't seen any of these Marvel movies and series. Okay. Avengers Infinity War. Oh my goodness, what do I have to say about this one? Let's just say a lot of tears were shed. A lot of action happened. And it spawned the start to probably one of the most menacing villains in all of Marvel, Thanos. See, Thanos, I still deem as a big menace to the MCU. Man literally wants to wipe out half the, u half the population. And that's just, that's just devious. And... Man literally went toe to toe with the Hulk. So you know the man's a menace. So we're not going to waste any time. This definitely. Avengers Infinity War definitely. S tier. Avengers Endgame also S tier. Like literally. This movie. Avengers Endgame was just chocked. Filled. 
with references from all the movies uh, leading up to this one. It, it, it brought up the old classic saying, hey, don't spoil Endgame. Don't spoil Endgame. Some people haven't, se uh, haven't seen Endgame. Don't spoil Endgame. <laughs> that was the same thing with Infinity War. Don't spoil Infinity War. But everything led up to Endgame. And we got everything that we deserved. So, Avengers Endgame, S tier. 100%. Guardians of the Galaxy. Also S tier. And let's just throw it off the bat. Number two. Guardians of the Galaxy was just... By, one and two was just by far the funniest. In the whole Marvel Cinematic Universe. These two... S tier rank to me because they are they they are hilarious, absolutely hilarious. I really uh, have high hopes of what they're going to do for Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Three. If you haven't seen the trailer for that, some stuff is about to go down. Maybe we'll get more. Backstory on Rocket Raccoon, which I personally have always wanted to know ever since I met the character. So yeah, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Volume 1 and 2, both S tier. Ant-Man! And Ant-Man the Wasp. Gonna play it safe. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put them both on A A rank. Not saying that they're bad or anything, you know. Yeah no. But and you know what? We're going to get out of the way because I see it on the bottom. We're also going to put... I'm going to... Honestly, I'm going to give it... I'm going to put him... I'm going to put Quantumania... I'm going to put Quantumania also at A rank. For probably two... For a few reasons. The jokes... Some of the jokes did... I will, I will admit. I will admit. Some of the jokes in this movie didn't land as much... And we actually got to see Modok. I won't spoil too much of the movie. <laughs> for anyone who hasn't seen it. But, uh... <laughs> they could have they done Modok a teeny bit better. So I'm going to put uh, uh, Quantumania at A rank. This goes for Ant-Man and Ant-Man the Wasp. Quantumania made me a huge fan of Ant-Man. Like, faux show. And I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say it like I said in the uh, Marvel Snap video, King's a menace. He's a menace. That's all I have to say. Doctor Strange. Hmm. A. Look, I'm a very positive person, but I will give details on what was not so good. This is the introduction to Doctor Strange. Uh, or as the or as his other name is Stephen Strange. Doctor Strange it dived into the realms of the unknown and what our minds could even comprehend. And that's another and that's another thing what Ant-Man does when they dive into the aspects and the unknown knowledge of the quantum realm. Because in Ant-Man, Ant-Man and the Wasp, we we kinda had some stuff about the quantum realm. But Quantum Mania really just dives into what could be far beyond the quantum realm. And that's what Doctor Strange uh, lets us dive into. It dives us into the possibilities the the possibilities of the multiverse. So yeah, Doctor uh, Doctor Strange A rank. Iron Man S tier. 
the movie that started it all. Look, I'm a I'm a huge fan of Iron Man. That's just facts. Uh, like I really love Iron Man, and I and if there's any way for you to introduce or start out the Marvel Cinematic Universe, Iron Man was the one to do it. And I did mention that I am currently in the process of writing a Iron Man rap. I want it's gonna take a little bit more time. I already started, you know, uh, creating a beat for it, but it's gonna take some time because I want it to be as accurate and I want it to be close to how the character is in the Marvel Universe. So that's gonna take some time. But I am in S tier rank 100%. Now we're diving into the Spider-Man movies. So, Spider-Man Homecoming. I'm gonna politely put this in B. Now, I'm not saying it's bad. It's just that I, need, I probably need to watch it again just to get more context of it. But I'm putting Spider-Man uh, Homecoming at B. Just because I, I probably need to watch it again. Spider-Man Far From Home. Also at B. I might raise it to A. Nah, I'm gonna I'm gonna stick it to B. Far from home introduced uh, Mysterio. It dive into the events after Avengers Endgame, and it kind of dwelled more into Spider-Man's uh, slash Peter Parker's character as a team because. Mostly throughout this vid, uh, throughout most of this movie, uh, Peter Parker wanted to just have a norm, just have a normal uh, school trip with his friends, uh, hang out with MJ. He just wanted to be, you know, a normal teenager instead of, you know, fighting crime all the time. And I get that. It's, it stays... It kind of dwells into Peter Parker's character. Like, I know I'm a friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. I like to help people and everything. But I'm still a teenager. I still got high school to deal with. I still got homework and all that stuff. That's probably why... I adore Spider-Man as one of my favorite characters. Because... You kind of wonder, you kind of wonder, superheroes, they take a lot. They push themselves to the limits to save others. They, they put others' motives above their own. And I feel like that's how, that's how uh, Spider-Man did it. Uh, that's how Spider-Man is to me. So yeah, is that B rank? Not saying that it's bad. It's just, you know, there were probably a few things in the movie where <clears throat> it was a little wobbly. But still, still a very great movie. Spider-Man No Way Home. You already know that is going S tier. 100%. The fact that you bring a legend like Tommy Maguire and then Andrew Garfield all in one. And then Spider-Man references all over the place. You're bringing back legends like the, the actor who played Doc Ock. And then the legend himself, Green Goblin. You couldn't ask for a better one than that, my boy. So yeah, S tier rank. It was a roller coaster of emotions. 
I won't spoil it. Like I said. S tier. That's all I can say. Black Panther. S tier. You know what? Let's get out of the way. I'm actually putting... Wakanda Forever in A rank. Black Panther was revolutionary. It changed what the cin the Marvel Cinematic Universe is capable of. By diving into the aspects of African culture, even though Wakanda is a fic uh, fictitious world, it still had that the African root to it and delivered a great it delivered a good message it had a lot of topics in it and obviously a wonderful cast Michael B. Jordan Chadwick Boseman legend Angela Bassett can't get no better than that and also I haven't said it before in previous videos where I mentioned him. Rest in peace to my boy Chadwick. He was revolutionary. We were all shocked when we heard that he passed away. And Wakanda Forever channeled that loss. Of Chadwick into this movie like I'm not even joking the moment that the the Marvel Studio logo popped up there was n just nothing but silence there was nothing but silence in the movie theater because you know it was because you know Chadwick was no longer with us and we're, we wasn't going to see him in this movie. Even though, at the end, we did get some little snippets of a flashback with Shuri reminiscing his her brother, T'Challa. And we got to see some clips back from Black Panther with Chadwick Boseman, which made me feel at ease. But yeah, at, uh, Black Panther, S-tier for me. Wakanda Forever. Namor wonderful villain and Angela's Angela Bassett being as powerful as ever like the emotions were real in that movie Captain Marvel we're gonna politely put it at C this is the first C rank of the video you know it it just it was very mid it was very mid. It did allow us to see what uh, Nick Fury was before he had his whole eye patch. He had the you know black coat, looking like a looking like someone from the Matrix and all that. And you know there was some decent character bonding with the with certain people. But, um, it just didn't live up to the height that I expected. Now, that doesn't say that it's all the way a bad movie. It just, it was just somewhere in the middle. And I'm gonna have to say that again to Black Widow. Wasn't what I expected. I mean, and I'm not. We're we're not saying that most of, most of these movies are bad. It was just very mid. Like something, some things were just missing. Some things were missing, and maybe there were some things that should have been left out. But I do have at least some good things to say about uh, about Black Widow. 
we got to see more depth into what made her into the Black Widow that we know and love now. Got to see her family. We got to see Taskmaster. Because uh, I've always was curious to see how they, how the cinematic, the Marvel Cinematic Universe was going to tackle Taskmaster. Probably wasn't the best approach. But it was still enjoyable. So, there's that. Shang-Chi. That is immediately going in S tier. For a good amount of reasons. One, I didn't know that it was possible to bring a whole dragon into a Marvel movie. The entirety that I was watching Shang-Chi, I was just sitting in a the movie there like, this is a Marvel movie, right? I believe, I feel like Shang-Chi was the very first Marvel movie that made me felt like this is not a Marvel movie. This literally feels like Bruce Lee or Jackie, Jackie Chan. Like the fight choreography in this movie was probably some of the most smoothest, most crisp, most cleanest fight choreography I have ever seen in a Marvel movie. By far. <laughs> so Shang-Chi 100% is going on S tier. Eternals. Let's just get it out of the way. D. Literally, I want to say like 20 minutes into the movie, I turned it off. It lacked, it literally lacked pacing. It introduced the characters way too long. And it was just all over the place. I, like, like, I, like I said, not every Marvel movie is perfect. So, you're probably going to hate me when I do this. But, haven't seen WandaVision yet. Haven't seen She-Hulk yet. Haven't seen this one. Uh, actually... I started to watch this with my friend. And I'm going to politely put it in B rank for now, but it's going to change. Because I actually enjoyed what I saw so far. And I haven't seen Hawkeye yet. Uh, is there any other uh, Hulk? That's another movie I haven't seen. So we're going to speed through this Falcon and Winter Soldier, I'm gonna put it at B. Not saying that it was bad. Probably a few pieces that were a little wobbly in the show, but it's a very good show. Loki, I definitely gotta put it in A rank. Because we got to see more Loki. Loki is one of my favorite characters. Actually, another question of the day. Would you consider Loki to be a villain or an anti-hero? Because for me, I mean, it's a it's an imbalance. But I probably would say that he's possibly an anti-hero. He's not all the way a villain. He's just misunderstood. And I like when movies have villains that are villains but they are misunderstood so 
Iron, uh, so Iron Man, Iron Man 2. I bet you put it A. I enjoyed Iron Man 2. Because I got to see my, uh, we got to see War Machine for the first time. The What If series, I'm gonna put it in S tier. You can yell at me all you want, I'm putting it in S tier. Because... The Doctor Strange episode made me have a much deeper love for Doctor Strange as a character. And also a few others. <laughs> like, what would happen if T'Challa became Star-Lord instead of, uh, uh, Peter Quinn? Peter, Peter Quill? Please tell me I'm saying his name right. Uh, Moon Knight. Put it at A. This may sound rough, but it could have been a teensy bit more. It could have been a. It could have been a teensy bit more bloody. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm, hey, this is just. I'm. I'm. I'm agree with my boy Nick right out here. It could have been a teensy bit more bloody, but Moon Knight was. Moon Knight was good. Moon Knight was very good. I always was fascinated on the tackle of how to portray a character with mix with a mixed personality. It, it, it could have been either one, could have been two. I don't know why I put a three. It could be one personality, uh, or it could be multiple personalities, like the movie Split. If anyone hasn't heard, if anyone has heard of the movie Split, the main villain, I want to say, had a whole bunch of different personalities. So, Moon Knight, I absolutely love when they, uh, their approach for a character with split personalities. So, yeah. Uh, Iron Man 3. I'm actually going to put it in... B. Yeah. Thor. I enjoy I actually enjoy Thor cuz it got it allowed us to, you know, see where Thor came from and see him grow. Thor Dark World probably put it at C. Not like I said many times with Black Widow and Captain Marvel. Not saying that is a bad movie, it's just it, it was just somewhere in the middle. Thor Ragnarok, I'm going to have to put it at uh, S tier rank. One of the funniest out of the whole Thor series. And Thor Love and Thunder, I'll put it at B. Not all of the jokes landed, but it did have a very interesting villain. Which, who had a very, very good motive. All he was trying to do was trying to save his daughter from the verge of dying. She passed on and he sought the gods to help him. And what did the gods do? The gods said, <laughs> Sorry, buddy. We, we, we can't really help you because we really just don't care. <laughs> we really, we, we, we don't care. And so he sought out the weapon that had the ability to kill gods. And his mission was to exterminate all the gods. Not, not a, it's not a very bad motive. Like, all he was just trying to do is save his daughter. And the gods just didn't, didn't come through for him. So he was like, you know what? You got, you got, you guys didn't try to help me. a mere mortal, so I'm just gonna kill all the gods. I'm about to become God of War up in here. As simple as that. Oh, I forgot one more, uh, uh Miss Marvel. Is that the one I haven't watched yet? Captain America. 
we're about to finish this. We're about to finish this strong. Captain America, I'll put it at uh, A, and I'll put Winter Soldier at B. And Multiverse of Madness, I'm gonna safely, politely put it in A. It's close to S. It's not perfect, so it stay. It's gonna stay at A, but it's close to S. For one reason and one reason only. Wanda, aka Scarlet Witch, is a menace. I was. I, look, I knew that she was gonna be a menace throughout this movie. I just didn't know how much of a menace she was. She was. And she proved that very well. So, there you guys have it. There is my tier list of my of all the Marvel movies ranked by me from S tier rank the top the top of the crop to but why though but why though so there you have it I'm gonna end it here so if you guys enjoyed this and you want to see me do more uh, you want to see me make more tier lists? I'll probably think of more tier lists to make. Uh, this is an idea that my friend tossed out. I was like, man, I don't know what mo what videos that I, I I should make. He's like, why not make a a tier list? And I was like, say less. So this is the first tier list that I made. So thank you all so much for watching. Like I said, if you enjoyed this, you already know what you need to do. Hit the like, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment saying what your all-time favorite Marvel movie is, and if you think Loki is a villain or anti-villain or somewhere in between, let me know down in the comment section below. Share this channel, we're close to 30 subscribers, and also ring the bell so you get updated on my upcoming videos. Until then, this is Blazar56 signing off. Until the next video. Thank you again.